Hello guys, what's up and welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arca Studio. In this tutorial, I'm going to show how we can use AI for our renderings for SketchUp or other type of softwares. First of all, I need to introduce this new website, which name is mnml.ai and it's really helpful for your renderings with AI. So I'm going to click on the uh, SketchUp environment in here and I need to fix and set up my camera position. So some type of angle like this is really good. So I want to change the camera to the uh, two point perspective and change my perspective manually by my hand. So I'm going to click on the uh, scenes option in here and create my first scene in this place. So it takes a little bit of time and after that your first camera shot will be generated for you in this part of your SketchUp environment. So before we continue this tutorial, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel and let's get to work. Alright, scene number one generated for us and I can click on it. So I need to click on the uh, scene box in here to collapse it. It takes a little bit of time because this model is a little bit heavy. So in the uh, style option, in the uh, edge setting, I need to reduce the uh, profiles to the uh, two, for example, and I need to refresh, click on the uh, file option, export to the graphics. And I prefer to choose JPG file format or PNG. It completely depends on you. So I need to save it on my documents or my maybe downloads. And I think the name of it is test AI. And I need to save it as the uh, PNG, for example. Click on the options, check the quality parameters, and click on the OK and export. So it takes a little bit of time, and after that, this render will be exported for us as the uh, PNG. So I will wait for it. Alright, so I'm going to click on the uh, file option in here and I want to click on the create in this place. It takes a little bit of time and after that you can see this menu in your job. First of all, we have multiple templates for our rendering. For example, exterior, interior, style transfer, which is something like the white glue in Enscape or some other softwares like Lumion, master plan AI, which related to landscape design and urban design technology, the sketch to the images, image, imagine AI, landscape and canvas. So we have something like text to concept and you can use all of them because it's all of them really great. So you have 10 credits for the uh, exterior AI and interior AI. So I'm going to start my job with the exterior AI in here. So I'm going to click on the launch tool in this place. And first of all, you need to set out your render mode, precise or balanced. I prefer to use, for example, balanced in here. I don't want to use creative. You can see the changes in here, for example, Precise is about accurate minor changes to the original input geometry, good for rendering. But creative is the high guidance for different styles, great for redesign option. So I need rendering, so I'm going to check it out precise in here. Click on the upload images or image. And I need to set out my downloads. Click on the test AI, open. So it will upload for me in here. And now I can describe, for example, I need to describe some type of things like, for example, maybe new modern facade design, comma, design. And after that, I need some realistic rendering with realistic clouds and weather. All right, I need to remove bad forms, bad shapes, 
and cropped. All right. I'm going to come to the downside and we have AI Enhancer. It helps you to work best with the creative mode. But right now I only need to increase it a little bit, not too much. Because I need to, it work with my prompt. So recommended range is about 10 to 30. So it completely depends on you. For example, 16 is enough. And in the styles, we have multiple styles like realistic, CGI, night, rain, sketch and some other things. I need realistic as the uh, default mode. I need best rendering speed, not fast. And you can see the changes. If I click on the advanced setting in here, I can increase the uh, seed number and it completely depends on you. For example, I need to add four zero in here. So I think everything is done for me and now I hope it generates some type of good render for me. So I'm going to click on the uh, generate. All right, as you can see, this is the render that we took with the AI and I think the result is really wonderful. We have some problems and bugs like these, for example, trees bad shape in here, but totally it's not really important because you can see final result and I think it's really great and wonderful so everything is done and now you can save it out or click on the open image and download it so it completely depends on you i hope you enjoyed this video guys if this tutorial is useful for you please like and subscribe our youtube channel thanks for your time thanks for watching and goodbye